Hey, little dog, turn me down in the headphones real quick, real quick. All right, that seemed to be balanced. All right, now turn it up for the um, turn it up for the people a little bit. We need we need that around like 40, 45, but don't drown me out though with it. Okay. All right, now get my voice up. All right, now let's give them a Jim Stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, listen, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into the news. We got three things to talk about, maybe four, depending on how you see everything, and uh, we're gonna get right into it. The first thing that we're here to talk about today is my guy Swante, the OG Grandmaster Sensei, did a very, very insightful video on dribbling and how he would like to see dribbling return to how it was. Now, the points that he made were pretty airtight. I couldn't argue with really with, with many of them. Uh, one thing he was saying was he has a 97 win percentage and adding more. Okay, so first of all, he's saying he wants to have more freedom to dribble, not necessarily more choices or more things to make it so that he can be unique or anything like that. He's Because he, he, he in the video, he pretty much is agreeing with me saying that everybody ends the same way, um, aggressive behind the back. And then you go to, and you know, they go to the rim and then they hop step and then they lay like everybody ends the same way. So if you want to argue with me and tell me I can't dribble fine, go argue with Swante and tell him he can't dribble then. Maybe that's what you want to do. He also said that, um, I mean, so he backed me up on that. That's my guy, man. What you mean, man? Hey, but he also said that it's not really the fact that you can be unique or that you can be this or that. He's saying that he wants to be able to have fun and it's really hard to have fun because it's hard to string combos together in this game. Effectively, the dribbling in this game is harder than it was in 2K19. A lot of people say it's easier in this game. It's easier on a very basic level, but if you want to string combos together and do it with any type of fluidity, like, uh, you, know, like you would do in 2K18 or whatever, or, or even 19, 2K18 probably had the most fluid dribbling of all of them. Even 2K17, um, even 2K17 dribbling, it was cool, but 18 total control dribbling was probably some of the best dribbling ever introduced to the game, I felt like. Now, like I said, it was, it made, I'm not saying that it was easier, I'm just saying that it was better. Easier does not always equal better, better does not always equal easier. But what I want, what I, I'm, I'm going to show you some some of the clips that he got. Hey, cat, hey, 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 cat. Let, let me. All right, so we're gonna go to camera nine. We're gonna watch some of this, some of the Swante dribbling while we're doing it. But really, what he was saying is, like, like, look, look at that. Are you able to see like how you're able to string the combos together and 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 do some of the stuff that you want to do? He's. I mean, you can make people fall, pull out, trays up, splash down. We're gonna show you one more little joint, man, where he just. You, you see what I'm saying? Well, you could. Is, I think this is the one where he's gonna do. Yeah, that's the one right there. I mean, you you can you can do stuff like that in 18. In seven, in uh, 19, they really tried to to get rid of that and all of that. The point that he was really pointing out is that while it does look funny and it looks like people can't guard that and people can't do this and can't do that, the real thing is you don't get a high winning percentage. Most of the people that do that stuff and dribble, 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 and all that, we beat the brakes off of them every day. And and the people that beat you by doing it, they were going to beat you anyway. Those guys had 90, 97 win percentage. I think the point that he was making is the dribbling is not what gives him the good win percentage. It's him being good and efficient at the dribbling, which is what gives him the uh, gives him the win percentage. I can agree with that um, to a large degree i think a lot of people last year more than anything that it, it was the dribbling plus the screens and then you just go back and forth and hesitate until you got open last year combined with takeover is what made it uh ridiculous last year but i can definitely say that in years past you got way more wins by being efficient over over uh you know just drip spam and dribble moves and stuff yes it's annoying to guard 
and annoying to defend. But like the people that did it, you're right. They really didn't have dribble, uh, win percentages higher than us. And if it was that effective, you would definitely see it in the stage more. And you would definitely see it in our team program more because of the fact that now I will say this, you do see the basic moves. Uh, you know, the moves that go ahead and get you by the person in, in team pro-am and, and then, uh, and in, and in the stage, you do see those moves a lot more. I, I can't lie on that. But as far as, as far as just seeing the moves in general, yeah, you're right. You really don't see those, uh, in stage or at, at the higher levels. And, and the one thing I love, he was like, yo, the people in stage and people in, uh, you got to go watch the video for yourself, man. He was saying the people in stage and the people in, in at pretty much at the highest level in, in um in comp pro am all they do is exploit the game they're just exploiters they're going to do what's the easiest thing to do what's going to get you by the guy what's going to be the most efficient they're going to do it every single time because they know that the other team is going to do it and they got to win the game so hey look hey shout out to my guy swante man the link to that video will be down in the description i do agree that you do need more freedom of dribble and especially, you know, they already killing you with the stamina. So if you just, if, if, if they said it like that, instead of saying, you know, we need more choices, if they just said we need more freedom of expression, we need more freedom to dribble, we need to be able to string more combos together more fluidly and things like that, I could understand. But as far as, as far as saying, you know, we want to be unique, I mean, just so we can have fun. It's not fun. Dribbling is not fun. It's just like when I say Call of Duty, we need better maps because the way that it is right now as it stands, it's not fun. I'm always for people being able to play the game the way that they want to play it as long as it doesn't really kill other people's way of playing the game. It's just like I want to be able to rush in Call of Duty. And that, that really doesn't bother anybody, but I can't do that in this one. So that's why I want them to do, do maps. They feel like they can't have fun dribbling because it's not fun fluid if you, like i said if you said that i could definitely agree with it because it's not fluid it's really tough to string these combos together that's why the only thing anybody does is momentum behind the back or whatever now like i said if you can show me clips of other people doing other things and stringing combos together like they were doing in 18 and 19 please show me because i, I just haven't really seen it the only thing i really see people do is hesitate and aggressive behind the back or whatever and like you said maybe that's the only reason that they do it because i really think it's just because we don't have the, the rhythm dribble where you can tap up on the right stick and he'll just do a whole bunch of stuff that you're not really doing you have to do every dribble move yourself this year i think that's really what the issue is and uh you know it is what it is but like you said you don't get a 97 winning percentage by just dancing with the ball or whatever you gotta score right you gotta be efficient you gotta be better than the person across from you so hey Give him the benefit of the doubt from that. Salute to my guy, Swante. He helped me see that from, from a dribbler's perspective. And I think he did a really good job of it in the video saying, you know, dribbling is, is doable. You can do it, but it's not fun. And and it's 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 just not fun. Like just like me saying, I can play Call of Duty, I can I can rush, I can rush down one hallway and go back and drop a claymore and do this, but it's not fun. So Hey, I'm all for people having fun the way that they want to have fun in the game as long as it doesn't give you a competitive advantage, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if, if you're just playing the game, you're just playing the game, I, I can go for that. But nobody wants to see all some of the dribbling from 2K19 come back in this game plus the screens, bro. Because, like, you, you're thinking about it for your own good because you are going to ISO. Bro, everybody going to use that stuff and go behind screens and stuff. Oh, my God. God, I can't even imagine. Pick Dodger already doesn't work. This is the only downside. Pick, pick Dodger doesn't work. We don't have whew, these screens plus some of that 2K19. Hesitate, sprint this way. Go through the legs. Hesitate, sprint. Bro, uh-uh. We can't do that, though. Whew. i let y'all string combos together standing in one place more. <laughs> anyway, man, on to our next story, man. Hey, look. Chalk has been grinding. Ding. That's all I can tell you. Let me move myself out the way for a second, man. Hey, look. Chalk been grinding, bro. Hold up. That's not me. Uh, camera. Where's the camera? Camera. Bro. Hey, I got to hire some older people. But check it out, man. Your boy Chalk has been grinding. Last night he showed his percentage on his bar. He is now at 88.9%. About 12% about away from from reaching max rep and uh he also showed his um he also showed his time on game 
And uh, more or less what he was talking about is, like, this is his time on game. 30, where, where is he at? Chalk is 37 days, 7 hours, and 13 minutes, bro. That's a ridiculous amount of time on this basketball game. Now, if you're looking at it, you're going to see that there are some other people that, are, that probably have more time on station. But what you got to realize is they may not be playing. Like, he's been playing 100% like park and all that stuff, they may not have been playing it and they may not even be in the rep race. Like Skump probably ain't even in the rep race. So, I mean, I mean, Jump Jump TV probably not even trying to do the rep race or anything like that. Uh, Nadex, he, he, he got a couple of characters and he's pushed those characters forward. Um, he's not even really in the rep race. And like I said, you got, you got some other people, um, like you said, 43 days, but he may not even be doing it. He may just be doing something else. Uh, but like I said, you can see everybody else um, in there. And, and, and how they stack up. And he's, you know, what this really shows is you don't have to be the person with the most time on the game. You just have to be the most efficient person with the time on the game. And what I'm saying with that is um, if you're playing rec and you're getting assists and you're maximizing your my points, it's pretty much based on performance. It's not based on just playing the game over and over and over anymore. But it always was like that. Even last year, if you wanted to get to 99 and 18 and 19, the fastest, you had to do the things that your player was designed to do. If, like Brutus said, he said he had to get a bunch of assists, throw a bunch of alleys and do stuff like that. Shooters, shooters going to shoot. You had to do the things that your character was designed to do. So it's always been the case. Looks like what he's doing, man, is getting a lot of assists with his playmaker, throwing a lot of alleys. If you watch the stream, you can see all of that stuff. Hey, like I said, he's probably going to be the first unless somebody comes out of China and uh, they're way ahead. And then, you know, like like they did last year with Sam Pham, where they had the joint where they could get like 10,000 points a quarter, some stupid like that. Like Sam Pham, they had, they, had, they had a bunch of people on one account and Sam Pham was giving them the best method. You're not going to beat that. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just not going to happen. What happened to my music? I think my music's still going. It just ain't as loud as it's supposed to be, man. Oh, hold on. There we go. Hold on one second, man. Let me get my music right, man. There we go. All right, so my music is back. Bro, hey, I, I don't know what's up with my music, man. It is what it is. We're going to keep on rolling, keep it rolling. But look. You're going against Sam Fam and those guys, bro. It's going to be real tough. Sorry about the audio for today, man. But leave a like so we can get it right. I got to hide some help around here. Uh, but anyway, like I said, what do y'all think about that, though? Do y'all think that it's good that it's always been performance-based and that uh, you can beat somebody that actually has effectively played more time because the time that you played has been more effective? Or do you think it should just be time on, time played, time on station or whatever like that? I don't know. It is what it is. But on to our last story for the day unskippable ads man why are unskippable ads in 2k brutal sim did a video on it yesterday and it was like the unskippable ads are back i forgot what it was but you know last year it was snowfall this year it was converse um you know and that's where they're starting bro i don't know if we need to put our foot down about this or not do we need to put our foot down about it early and say bro come on man y'all cannot do this to us again and just keep push like fix the game fix the game first michael and then everything else will come along but can they even fix the game at this point because a lot of people are saying that the game is dead it's dead to them it's over with they don't care they're gonna go to call of duty they're gonna go to gears of war they're just waiting for the next game to be better than this that's more exciting a lot of people like the camping style of call of duty because a lot of people aren't good at the game but a lot of people that are good at call of duty they just don't like being relegated to camping that's all it is but do you think a lot of people about to jump ship have a lot of people already jump ship are the only people on the game still content creators and stuff like that or you know like what do you guys think i i, I really don't know i can't tell you why on earth they would feel like this is a good idea to push the unskippable ads in a broken game maybe they always maybe they got this stuff on a time release and when they do it on the time release they're expecting things to already be you know in a working order or something like that that's just not the case with this man but uh my guy right here has a special message for the people of 2k if you can't get stuff right and uh we're going to we're gonna let him express his opinion in one second epidemic pause for one second 
pause for one second. We're going to let him express a special, special, uh, special shout out to 2K and how he feels about what he wouldn't do. I just wouldn't take them damn folk money and, and do nothing. Just a sorry, sorry son of a bitch. Hey, and that pretty much sums it all the way up right there, guys. Like, like that's how I feel about the whole thing. If you feel the same way, you let me know if you feel the same way. Would you take, like, you just can't be taking people's money and not, and not delivering on it. Now, I will tell you this. I've made more money off this game than I spent on it, so I got an excuse. I'm going to keep posting every day. I'm going to keep playing the game and stuff like that. Um... That's just how it is. But I understand if other people would just jump ship and say, we're not going to do it anymore. We're not going to take it anymore. We're not going to. Ain't, ain't none of this happening. We ain't. It ain't happening, 2K. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what size shirt you wear down in the comment section so you have a chance to win one of these. Let's get the video to 500 likes. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And one more thing. I played basketball yesterday. I need y'all to tell me what badges, what, what badges do you think your boy got, man? Y'all talking about, hold on, I, I don't want to make it that, I, I can't make it like that, we're going to do it like this, hold on one second, man, I just, I just, I just, rec y'all can't be seeing, seeing the other stuff, Brittany, Brittany. Oh, boy, well, tell me what badges, hold on, I just move this down, how about that, there, yeah, there we go, tell me what badges y'all think I got, man, I'm talking about, pull up, drink, why, why is the music playing in the background, we don't need to hear all that. All right, let's get it back. Let's get it back. Now, look, these are the badges I think I got right here. That's Hall of Fame dead eye right there, easily. That's easily Hall of Fame dead eye. Boy, this right here is quick first step. Woo, and difficult shots. I think that's what that is. What's this right here? What's this right here? Oh, that's catch and shoot right there, easily. That's bronze dead eye right there. Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, hold up, I'm in the way, ain't I? Quick first step. Slithery finisher. Wait, we gonna show it again. Hold on, let me get myself out. Let me get the let me get the camera off real quick. Woo! Look at that, that put back king right there, boy. I'm so trash at basketball. It's not even funny. Look at that Hall of Fame dead out on him. That's right. Look at this. Look at this. Woo! That's quick first step. Quick first step. Difficult shots, and that's probably silver dead out right there. Look at the catch and shoot, bro. I don't know what that dude was doing. He almost blew the game the whole time. Woo hoo hoo! Mid range assassin. Look at this. Woo! Quick first step. Watch me go through traffic. Slithery finisher. No vertical left. I ain't got no vertical left. And last but not least, woo! Put bike king. That put bike king. Hey, boy. Hey, I got a little skill left. I'm super trash still because my athleticism is gone because I hurt my knee last year. And I'm still rehabbing to get that right. But, uh, hey. The athleticism is coming back. If you ever hurt yourself and you lost your athleticism, you know how it feels like when like you hurt you hurt whatever you hurt. You don't have a muscle there because the atrophy is so bad. But now I feel that muscle coming back because it's like it's it's starting to be be knotted up when I get finished. I feel that muscle coming back. Hey, hey, I say I feel that muscle coming back, man. We about to get we about to have big vlogs. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think dribbling needs more fluidity? We're going to go with that. Do we think dribbling needs more fluidity, not necessarily more choices? We want more fluid dribbling, like Swante was saying. Do you think that, um, uh, how do you think, when do you think Chop's going to hit, um, Legend? Because he's definitely about to hit it, uh, in the next couple of days. And, uh, what do you think about the unskippable ass? I think you need to fix the game before you start trying to make money off people again. But, hey, that's just my humble opinion. And what badges do I got? Let me know down in the comments, man. Leave your shirt size. Like the video. 500 likes. We're giving away a free shirt. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. And if you didn't like the, one of the last videos, go back like those videos. Get them to 500 so we can get, get, one of the, get these T-shirts away, man. And I'm going to holler. God speak.